So we got a little damage repair to do here on this front case. This engine, not this truck, was in a wreck. Uh, it's supposed to be a good engine. And something, when a wreck occurred, this here is the uh, power steering reservoir bracket, and it uh, goes right up in here. But as you can tell, that thing's all bent up because it got hit. So what happened is it actually pulled the bolts out of this aluminum casing. And speaking with a customer, we talked about replacing the whole cover, but it's not cracked or anything. And the, up here where the little peanut cover goes on the front of the engine, that was in halfway decent shape. So what I've decided to do, and what I'm gonna do right now, is uh, I'm gonna put a helicoil, put new threads, thread repair in both of these holes here so we can put the, the new bracket on. And hopefully it won't leak and everybody can go on with life. So got a helicoil kit here. So I've got a 3 8 16 uh, thread count, thread repair kit, helicoil. Comes with a drill bit, uh, tap, and a bunch of little helicoils there. So first thing we're going to do is uh, drill this out with the bit that came with it. So the main thing with this is that there's bolts coming in from the front, bolts coming in from the back, and there is a space, a solid piece in between, so we don't want to go too far when we're doing this. We don't want to drill all the way through. So. Basically, I'm just cutting out what was left of the old threads. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go real deep into this, as I said before. Looks like it's all the way back. Yeah. It's so basically just going to go just to the bit stops. So. Those are all drilled out. So we'll get some uh, brake parts cleaner and spray that out. Get all the debris out of there. Okay, those all look pretty good to me. So now we're gonna use our tap here that came with the kit. Now obviously this little T-handled holder here didn't come with it, that's out of my set. Kind of work this in until it gets kind of tight, then work it back a little, little bit to get the shavings out. Looks like we got threads cut all the way back through there. Yeah, those look pretty good to me. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier here. So I may have to use the socket. This is going to be, I'm going to, have to get a different tool to hold my tap here, make that air compressor in the way. So I've actually got a special set of sockets that I forgot I even had. I bought them and haven't used them since, uh, but it, I got them from Snap-on, and they're actually a socket that's made, a 3-inch drive, 
and there's some quarter inch drives too, but they're actually, they have a square drive in them and a little rubber O-ring, and they're actually made for a uh, tap. So it's gonna work out pretty nice in this area, I think. So now we'll go ahead and spray that out. That looks good to me. Okay, now for the fun part. All right, so I got these tapped out. Um, I got a little Healy coil here. I got the installation tool. And that's kind of screwed up the way I have this plate here. So I, there's a little uh, keeper here, which they want, you, they want you to have this like halfway up the slot. So we're gonna stick that in. That's basically as far as we can go with that keeper. And then we're just going to thread this in. And when you're doing these, you can kind of tell when it's deep enough because it, it, it it kind of compresses, you know, like a slinky. So when you're seeing the threads when they're a little bit bigger, you want them all to be the same size lined up. Like I said, if you got a slinky and you like twist it, um, you know, it gets like bird cage. So when, you know it's all the way in once it's all straight inside there and all the threads are the same width apart. Thing is you don't want to force it and break that uh, little tab off the back because then you got then you're not going to be able to turn it anymore. Then that looks like it's all the way in, so I always get a good bolt, new bolt. Before I break the tab off. Quite right, so it needs to go in a little bit further. So we got that in a little bit deeper there, and I always just like to test a, a bolt in it to make sure it goes in and out, which that one looks good. This one's good. So the last thing we gotta do is take the little, there's another little tool in here to actually uh, break this little tang off here. So you got this little driver. And that's all it takes, just break it off. And then, uh, sometimes I'll get them with a magnet where to suck it out or it might come out with bow and brake cream in there. I think it washed it off. And that's pretty much it. So typically they advertise that these helical threads are, are stronger than the original threads, especially 
I have never had good luck with this tapping straight threads into aluminum. They typically always pull out, so it's always good to use a helicoil if you have a uh, aluminum housing that you're trying to tap into. So, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, getting kind of late here, I think I'm gonna call it a day. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up here. Uh, so this is something kind of new we're doing, just some kind of casual, uh, not so much how-to videos. Uh, eventually, like I said, we're gonna do some live stuff once uh, Sophia's helping out a little bit more down here. So stay tuned. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up. And as always, like the video. So um, thanks again, guys.